Look at who is back in three days! Three days! Who's excited? I'm excited! Are you excited? You probably are. If you care, you are excited. I've been trying really hard to avoid any kind of spoilers. It's like a minefield going on Tumblr. It's been hard. Well, I was watching an interview with Matt Smith on some talk show, and as they always do on talk shows, they do this small video about something this actor has done, and they were showing the teaser for the new episode. A normal person would probably just have to try to skip it, but I knew that if I did that, I would see some of the clip as well. So it just ended up with me sitting there, la la la, I'm not listening, I'm not seeing anything. It was all really <laughs> interesting, and I'm glad my parents didn't get home right that second. The fact that Doctor Who is on in three days actually means that there is four days, four days left till my birthday, which I have mixed feelings about because I am turning 21, which is, uh, doesn't really mean anything to me. But the thing is that I feel like, um, maybe around my confirmation, or when I was 16 or something, it was just this uh, evil godmother or something, someone from a fairy tale just came and said, I'm gonna put a spell on you and make sure that you'll never age like a real person because I don't feel like I do. I don't feel like I'm turning 21, which is really weird. I don't mind it so much anymore. Like, if you asked me, like, a year ago, I would be like, no, no, not turning 20, not turning 20, not turning 20, not turning 20. I don't really have a problem with it anymore, because at that time I just felt like I was a bit younger. The thing now is, I just, I just don't feel like I'm any age. It's like, because when I think about it, 21. I'm not, I don't really feel like I'm 21 because I don't feel like an adult and I don't feel like all that stuff, all the stuff that comes with being 21. But then again, if we say like 20, I might feel a bit more like I'm 20, but then if you say 19, there is like maybe some aspects where I feel like I'm 19, but then there's somewhere I don't. The thing about getting older, my biggest problem is actually writing wish lists. I have computers, I have my camera, I have pretty much everything I need, so it was really hard this year. When I was younger, I didn't have any problems filling two pages, like A4 pages, with Bratch. I was so into it that I would sit, uh, I think I found a website with, like they had all the products listed, and I would just write all of them on my wish list. It was, it was really stupid, but at least no one had any problems knowing what I wanted. Buy me brats and I would be the happiest person in the universe. I made the mistake before my graduation to write moving away from home stuff because I will be moving out in a year or two. Uh, so I, I wrote that. <laughs> that was a massive mistake. I just, that was all I got. Um, no, I'm never doing that again. Never. I think I made three different wish lists in the end. The one to my friend was kind of alternative. I just said, screw it, screw it. I'm just gonna write everything I want on there. As in, I don't really care whether it's normal for people to wish stuff like that. So in the end, I think some of the more strange stuff on my wish list was garb stoppers. You know, the British garb stoppers, not the Wonka ones. Never ever buy the Wonka ones. I hate the Wonka ones. But the British ones are really good. I really like them. Second, a pineapple. When I went to England, I slowly developed an obsession with pineapple, which was really nice, but then also really strange, and I don't think my tongue has ever suffered that much. Third, rainbow nets. Yeah. And then also, <laughs> I, just, I just couldn't help it. Uh, it was also kind of a joke between me and my friend. I had to write a frozen pizza on there because we we often eat frozen pizza together and it's, it's really delicious if you get the right ones, but it's really nice and I wouldn't mind getting a frozen pizza for, as a present. Like, I don't know what else you would buy me, so that's <laughs> what I ended up writing and I don't really blame myself. I hope you all have a lovely Easter and you should all go wear your Doctor Who t-shirts. Really nice and nerdy. Oh, I love this one. I don't wear them nearly enough. I will hopefully make a
kind of review kind of thoughts about the episode, hopefully, though I'll be busy with my birthday then.